Hi guys. Apple has finally injected the Mac with new life as part of a radical overhaul and feature set infusion set to arrive with Mac OS Big Sur. We took the first beta for a spin to see how it all plays out. Apple is putting a lot of work into the Mac. Not just reworking the user interface, but doubling down on Catalyst for easier ports of existing iPad apps. Macs will also be running on Apple Silicon with future hardware, allowing iPad and iPhone apps to run natively. It is immediately noticeable, right from the initial boot, that Mac OS Big Sur has a wholly refreshed design. It's clean bright, and consistent, and jibes with similar designs tweaks seen on iOS and iPadOS. You can see it in the new dock that is full of rich new icons. Some icons look a bit off, such as QuickTime that just stuck a QuickTime queue on a blue background, but many of the icons look great. The menu bar is translucent and blends into the background. This looks great though the translucency may cause legibility issues for those with impaired vision. The menu bar to the right with all of your status icons is enhanced as well. Menu bar items like volume, airplay, Wi-Fi, have all gotten a new look that feels much more in line with what was offered by iPhones and iPads. Much has been tucked into a new feature for Mac, Control Center. Control Center houses Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, airplay, and many other common utilities. This helps remove menu bar itself, but if you do want to keep them in your menu bar, they can just be dragged right to where you'd like. Many apps have new looks as well. They come with full height sidebars and new icons from SF Symbols 2 which was ported from iOS and again, makes everything more consistent. Safari has received a massive overhaul as well and frankly deserves a deep dive on its own. But hitting the high points, Safari is now faster and more power efficient than ever. It has a clean interface with a new customizable start page that can be tailored to your liking. Tabs are more user-friendly and accessible with better icons and previews whenever they are hovered over. Safari has a new feature called Privacy Report which, when clicked on when visiting a website, will let you know how many trackers were encountered and if they were stopped using Safari's cross-site tracking. Safari also has password monitoring, built-in translation for web pages, and more. Maps was another app overhauled this year. It is built on Catalyst and is much more fluid and natural than the previous design. We are only in the first beta of Mac OS Big Sur, but it is a big improvement over what we had before. Messages is nearly on par with its iPhone and iPad counterparts in Big Sur, too. Up to 9 conversations can be pinned on the left sidebar making them much more easy to keep track of. Search is also robust and works much better than it did in previous version of macOS. These changes are very welcome.